do not underestimate cowards. I say this with, with a lot of seriousness. Do not underestimate cowards. There's one thing warlocks do well, or I'm sorry, they do this right, and that is they don't underestimate the cowardice of common people. When commoners cannot relieve themselves, when they can't escape, they will escalate. And when they want to, when, when they escalate, anyone that's vulnerable nearby is in trouble, is in danger. That's how commoners are, mo most of them. In general, that's how commoners are. I'm not saying commoners are like this all the time, but when they can't escape, they'll escalate. That's why warlocks are taught, whatever you do, make sure that you give some benefit to the community. Because once you give a benefit to the community, you, will call, you can always mention that benefit to keep people in check. For example, let's say you have a Chinese warlock who owns a Chinese restaurant and he gets customers. Okay? And let's say that one day there's contention in the community. Let's say people begin to point a finger at this Chinese guy. He can point out, hey, besides this Chinese restaurant, I also have relatives here that provide acupuncture over here and you have many of you folks here that are stressed out and we are helping you guys with your stressed out situation. So what's the heck? Why are you guys, uh, what's wrong with you guys? In this case, there is a contribution to the community and because it mentions contribution, now they need to, now they need to justify their hatred and they can't do it and, and, their, and the, the contribution of the warlock embarrasses them. So that keeps them, that reduces uh, their dumping. I'm not saying this, I'm not saying that you don't have codes that will escalate anyway, those exist, but in general when you have a contribution to the community, um, they tend to, how do I say it, back off when you are an, an act, when you are a stable actor that contributes to the well-being of that place. Well-being, well you get what I'm saying today, the well-being of the economy. Warlocks do this, and you have warlocks do evil, they're part of cabinets, they do this especially with charity, and they use the charity as a mask so you won't see the evil they're doing. The bad warlock isn't, isn't, doesn't intend to do anyone harm, it's just using the paranormal for personal gain, or whether it's a warlock that's part of a cabinet, they know you need to contribute to the economy locally. When you do this, you can use that as a backup against the backlash from that same community. Why? Because warlocks know. They know this very well and they can see it very clearly. When you are prospering somewhere and the community doesn't benefit and the commoners become frustrated at it, you're finished. And when they can't come off you directly, they'll turn on each other and later the community will blame you for them turning on each other. For example, you can have that you have this guy who's, who wants to knock you out because he, don't, he can't stand you being prosperous without him because he doesn't, he doesn't control you. But one day he goes at home and he hits his five-year-old son. And, and he, he has appeared before court. Now this is, this is a trauma in the community. And once this incident happens, more of similar things begin to happen. And then when the community is completely in distress, they're going to think, when did this begin? And demons will cause people to mention it since that guy is over here uh, prospering, this, these things are happening. Oh, he brings bad luck to us. And what do you get then? Even though you have nothing to do with the violence uh, of them escalating, they will, they will blame it on you and they'll turn on you. Even the local authorities may turn on you just to get peace in the community. Now when that happens, and if you don't have any cover, Let's say, you're, let's say you're not a warlock, you're not in, you don't have any cover, neither supernatural nor paranormal. It may be that you become the target of vigilante justice. You'll end up in a hospital after they beat you up, or you end up dead, or you end up disabled for life, or you may end up years behind bars or something you didn't do, and you'll, you'll go through hell behind bars. You will become the target of false accusations. That's how it goes in this world. So never underestimate cowards. Don't look down on cowards, don't hate them, don't treat them as an enemy, but beware of them. That's why Christ told us, be wise as serpents, 
Now warlocks tend, warlocks tend to obey this with Christ said. Even though they don't follow Christ, they tend to obey what Christ said, divide the serpents. That's why whatever you do, make sure that there's some investment in the community. Somewhere. And if people can't appreciate this investment, publicly it will be all on them. But don't be somewhere you're prospering in the blessing and there is no benefit to the community. If they abuse that benefit, then you're in your full right to withdraw it and to, and to shake the dust off your feet. But make sure that there is some benefit where you're at. Well, that's it for now. Keep agreeing with Christ and be at peace.